walk through all right so as you guys know my craft room was on the third floor and it got um a little bit too crowded up there and i didn't have basically no workspace all right guys here it is here it is it's not completely done nor organized but uh yeah the craft room is uh basically for the most part done so this is going to be a quick video once i get the other bins and stuff that i'm gonna get i will um go um, through a guys let me just tell you about this table i was looking for big crafting table especially because on the third floor i had no space so crafting i'm um, crafting tables are pricey so i basically just told paul what i wanted which was simple All i wanted something with deep bins and this is deep as you guys see here these are all new baby shoes ready so if anybody orders shoes to be um, blinked out um, baby bloomers that I sell with some of my outfits as well as the thigh high um, knee high socks flip flops that I bling out those are some there um, and these are just samples of bloomers that I use to take pictures here is all my tool <laughs> except my daughter's slime um, glue so this is all my tool and these bags is um any leftover tool off the bolt i put them in bags so they don't get dusty and then i'll put the size or what h22 um i can make with it and that's how i store it <sighs> these are all down here i have all scarves so these are all scarves for the boutique that i brought in they feel so soft you guys have i have to do um a video of all the stuff that I've got and I think those are sweaters there I'm not sure but I think those are the women's sweaters that I also got for the boutique those are really 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 nice all right so this is the table the only thing is that you see how the wood has this here it's hard if I need to write or to draw a line but he's going to I guess put something on top of here so it can be smoother but it's if it's great I'm I'm like so happy with this table all right so here is this huge plug he bought a, a um, Harvard Freight and he's going to screw it on the table which we haven't gotten a chance because I wanted plugs on the table connected that way if I'm working I can have my Cricut plugged in here I also do ironing on here I got my heat there um, and then I needed somewhere to store the vinyl because the walls don't mind my <laughs> ratchet tape up there I needed it for the Christmas um, backdrop but these walls here are all bricks so what I wanted to do was to put my vinyl holders as you can see on the table and then he put one on the other side as well and this actually I'm gonna um, insert a clip this actually has become Jalea's little um, clubhouse I cleaned it out for video purposes but that's become her clubhouse so I don't mind so when I'm working she's in here with her books her iPad yes. and her dolls this is my daughter last night she had this up she had her nightlight in here um, and she had her tablet as you guys can see and yeah now she thinks that this table right here is going to be oh and she has I don't know if you can see those are her old frozen curtains it used to be up in her room that I took down when I changed the curtains um, yeah she thinks this is gonna be her little you know clubhouse um, I forgot what it is that she calls um, 
this thing that all the kids do on YouTube. I can't remember the name. Um, but yeah, this is her thing last night. She was in here actually with Paul. And then Paul fell asleep in here and she came out <laughs> because it was dark in here. So yeah, I thought I'd share that with you because anybody who is... Um, a work at home you know work from home mom I'm pretty sure you can relate to either your workspace your office or your craft room always put your kids stuff look at that's her nightlight that little part goes on the top and then it shows like all kinds of stars and stuff um, she had it forever <clears throat> excuse me so yeah she had that in there and I just thought it was just funny so I asked her to clean it up today before she left to school and she said no mom wait till I come back let me play it in it one more night so I don't know people but yeah I got to get to work um, what can I say about this table I out of the whole craft room this is like my favorite part is this table the other day was so much like it was so much easier than upstairs i had been working here i plug this the um cricket to my laptop i can put my laptop here even if it's dying i can plug it in um because that was another problem i had upstairs over here i still have work area so any you know vinyl i have to weave um weave out whatever the case is or any t-shirts that need to be measured i still have this whole big worst um workspace and I love it because it's oh, high. I told him to make it. I have to get the dimensions, but it's pretty high, which I love because I have a bad back and I just like the counter high length table, um, work table, I love it. This is my little heater here that I got. And this remote control, I love this thing. Let me tell you guys, this thing here is powerful because sometimes I put it on in the living room and it warms up the whole downstairs, like the living room, dining room area. So, I love it. The heat is cool. So, this is why I run into a problem because as you guys know on the third floor from my last craft room, um, walk through, I'll leave the video up here. I had a big walk-in closet. I had tons of um, cabinet space and, um, and that's just not the case here. So what I just did was I put all of my t-shirts here um for now and then here i have a mixture so here i have um, sweaters and sweatpants right the basic colors then i have boutique women clothing clothing here here i have um women ja um, jean jackets the kids jean jackets that box is full of i don't know what units that came in i don't even know what's in there what's in here oh t-shirts okay more t-shirts so so yeah, so I need somewhere that I can actually organize all these t-shirts by size, color, etc. because it'll help me so much. So um, for a back backdrop, so being that I'm doing a lot of Christmas things, this is why I have the Christmas one up. And don't mind the pumpkins, I've been busy. We didn't even carve the pumpkin. We went pumpkin picking. I haven't even made that video yet because I just haven't had time. So here is the mannequin jean jackets that I got in. I love this infinity scarf as well. Hi guys. <laughs> you hear Jalea? Jalea said hi, let me come over here. Show you guys what she's doing. The lighting is not that great. I'm playing on the Nintendo. We got her that for her birthday. Her birthday was four days ago and she turned nine. So yeah, okay, so let's go back in there. All right, so yeah, back, I love this infinity scarf. It's not wrapped right, but love it. Um, and then the, here's my mannequin, um, whoops. Now, this is like, I have so many t-shirts things. Oh, this has my address, let me flip this box, okay. All right, so I have so many t-shirts. These are all t-shirts that came in that I need to, um, and, and the baby shirts and all of that stuff. I need to 
find somewhere to put it. So I reached out to um, someone that I watch. Her name is Angela. She does embroidery. She sells ribbon tutus. I mean, pre-cut tutus. I'm sorry. And she even started doing some um, designs. So um, I asked her because she has hers organized. Um, in her craft room and these bins which I loved well as soon as I saw them but at the time I didn't need it so I reached out to her she let me know where she got them so I'm definitely gonna order some because this is all this is too much um, some of this is t-shirts some of this is product reviews that I have to do oh wait a minute because you know guys some of you that may watch my videos you know I'm a little cray cray but look what I got in here I mean because some days is rough girls rough look at this yes I know you guys Martha store has wine yes she does and I got me a whole 12 pack of wine yeah so I do I, I did one with a cooking tutorial I have to post um, but I have to um, do an unboxing and I want to talk a little bit about it because it's really really good um, so yes I do have a box of wine in my craft room because some days it'd be like that okay so this is my work area these are um look at this bag this is the last one I have to take pictures of isn't this bag beautiful I love it especially now with like all holiday parties and new years and weddings coming up and everything and then you put it on like a bracelet uh, let me try to get it off okay so yeah so i was about to take a picture of it that's why it's here but i said let me do this video because i've been wanting to do it for like a week and a half so <laughs> So this is the area where I take pictures of what I either buy or make and um, yeah so I lay everything out here. These are some of my sample stuff that I use that I've made um, that I use as photo props and then everything in here is stuff that I either made or bought and use it as photo props. So that's basically what's in that little bucket and then I just you know. Um, hook up the whole layout if anybody's interested in watching a video on how I do that let so me know in this part of the craft room um, more vinyl because I, I need more racks to put on the other side of the table I have to order more but this is basically my tumbler area so this is where I make all of my epoxy tumblers this is another heater let me move it out the way so basically this is my tumbler area um, and I can open all the windows here and um, you guys knew from prior videos that I always had the tumbler area in down here in the front porch because of all the windows and because it's not really healthy for you to inhale the smell of the epoxy. So with that said is um, here's all my brushes and alcohol and you see this is filthy. Um, and a cup that I made, I made this cup and I love it. Five things. Okay, um, acetone, then this over here is all of my little um, embellishment and um, what else is down there? I don't know because I can't see. But yeah, that's all of my embellishment. You know, my Alexa is always hanging out somewhere in the house. Um, and then I have my little Christmas thing and the scrapbook you guys um, know from prior videos I told you that I was into scrapbooking when I used to have time so this is a scrapbook that I made out of um, wallpaper so and I made the cards I used to love making scrapbooks I have so much stuff um, oh this is a picture card okay um, to put a picture on it but yeah, I, this is so old. I used to have time to do it. And I actually miss doing it because scrapbooks are fun. And then I would stamp, I stamped that in there. So, yeah. I don't know, it was fun. This I, um, this paper right here, I distressed it with um, tea and then I baked it in the oven. 
and all these are my tumblers here tumblers tumblers all size that's my paper cutter and all of my daughter's glue because she's obsessed with making slime um, these are more clothes um, units of clothes that I've gotten that's workout gear more jean jackets bubble wraps these are all tutus that they're either messed up in some kind of way but I still use them as photo props um, these are all my fabrics so my fabrics in there this is my sewing box this is all ribbon ribbon um, baby shoes these are all units of clothes that I've got and so um, messy 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 ribbon I really need to figure out how to store my ribbon and this is not all my ribbon okay so in this box I have this whole container here um, I don't know if you can see filled with stamps because I used to do scrapbooks so I used to use a lot of stamps so this whole container is full of stamps okay so these are my cups light I don't know what's that or pencils and these are my gloves these are all slide is over all of my glitters are on there more glitter so oh and um the my inks i love this one so glitter and inks that's what's on there more vinyl more um vinyl. what do we have here all right so here we have everything we have the Dawn Soap for my epoxy cups. I have all of my spray. These are all of my different um, dyes for my airbrush machine. And these are all the needles for my airbrush machine. Epoxy, those are mugs. And this is one of the airbrush cups that I made. Um, and then these are all... Um, glasses that I played around with before and really never did anything but give them away as gifts to be honest with you um, down here because I told you guys that I was into scrapbooking these are all scrapbook papers I mean tons of it I can't even pull this thing I was having um, and this was all the little um, things to put into scrapbooks and have all sorts of stuff oh my lord honey oh, so everything basically here has to do with scrapbooking those are more hole punches there these are um, boxes and I do um, gift boxes my my bags when my customers come and pick up and these are my huge um, the real big shipping bags that I have on the here are shipping bags t-shirts and more t-shirts and that's all my camera lighting there and <clears throat> I'm choking guys all right so over here what we got over here we have my embroidery machine that I haven't used in one whole year why because my needle keys um keys shifting to the side i've put a new needle and everything so i've been waiting patiently for a whole year for my husband to take a look at it because i have no clue what is going on <sighs> i looked on um pamela pants youtube channel she also does embroidery she um talks about um her family Etsy shop and everything because i know a while back like maybe almost a year ago i've been watching her forever um she had a problem with her her embroidery machine and i remember the needle was shifting but i looked at her video i don't know i guess it wasn't a problem with that but um this is my sewing machine which i love because so easy to use this is the sewing table paul mamie this is an old ottoman that I had with a very old living room set from years ago. I've always kept. That's Jalea's daughter. I don't know her name, but yeah, American girl baby. So what I have here is pretty much was what I was able to keep organized. So 
hats because I do a lot of sets so I like to stock up on hats um, these are the two piece um, footy pants and the little sweaters <sighs> these are bibs I try to keep stuff in here that I sell a lot of um, all my Carter t-shirts are here because I also I offer the Carter t-shirts and then I also all ugh. I offer my Carter t-shirts plus I offered um, the really nice um, ruffle top bodysuits. Um, this drawer is like pretty much all preemie stuff. And then I have all these separated um, by age. I don't have them labeled out here because like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping them in there. So um, that's why I haven't labeled you know what size um, each drawer is holding and so I figure out how I'm going to organize everything um, my printer Halloween candy um, yeah so what else we got here Jalea's artwork and these here are order sheets and this is what helps oh sorry this here are order sheets and this is what helps me when I get an order I just pull out the sheet either for a t-shirt or I'm sorry either for a t-shirt or a tumbler so um, what I need and sense of um, custom orders because if it's an order for the boutique I just pull it out and ship it that morning um, this is my cart these were my Halloween um, hair bow cards that I put my hair bows on when I used to be Gigi's Tutu Cute Creations that was five years ago um, and this is from my favorite movie Hocus Pocus so I still have them and this was my old design when I had the Gigi's Tutu Cute um, store so those are hair bow cards so basically what I have in this card is like any um, hole punches that I use on a regular basis that stuff um, the felt for my headbands, hole punches, um, and then I have just ribbon here that I use for hair bowls or tutus, and more ribbon. Oh, I don't want it to fall out. This is all the ribbon for the barefoot sandals that I have here. My little cup for my... Um, little um I don't know what that call either all right so anything that has to do with work I just throw it in here whether I'm taking it upstairs or downstairs and it just makes it easier than me just leaving everything spread out all over the place um this is an OTV but it works just fine I don't have cable here but I have the Roku so I have Netflix and Hulu so I am good my Bible you know gotta always keep that by and picture me and Paul in Atlantic City and what else we have here GoPro this is uh, my vinyl samples I keep there and I have one here and then this is just all like bills and anything important I have there um, any licenses or anything that has to do with the business I keep it filed there um, what else do we have and just notepads and stuff like that angels I have more angels oh, there I have so many angels and my tablet and yeah that's basically it I have another Cricut here so this Cricut is it's great the way it's set up guys because this Cricut is connected to this computer so the other day I was able to be um, knocking orders out of this one and then over here I plug my laptop and I use the Cricut maker there so and this is the what is this Cricut I don't even okay this is the Explorer so and I love this light guys I got it from Amazon I'll put the link below um, I don't want to blind you guys but it's really bright I like that I can look down in it especially if I'm making hair bows or blinging out shoes it has come in handy because I'm I wear glasses and I'm still blind um, and then it has different settings I don't want to 
I look down like that that way I don't blind you guys but yeah it has different settings so I plan to get um a second one to put on the work table over here because I do need light there the other night um it wasn't even nighttime and I was having trouble seeing over there I have that light which is perfect um what do I have here all right so these are all like um sequin shorts and sequin hair bows and stuff that I pair up with my outfits and then in here I have more sequin shorts and some rumpers in here then I have um, the bowls and the spandex um, the spandex the bowls and the suspenders for boys okay so here is all my aprons the mittens they all um, coincide with the baby um, sleep gowns pillowcase I always try to keep one I used to do a lot of pillowcases um, yeah so that's that and then here what do I have here okay so these are all the gowns that I do for babies and and more t-shirts but these are like miscellaneous color um, color t-shirts and the red you guys know is for the Christmas story t-shirt that I sell a lot and this one I keep in stock because it's for the cookie t-shirt that I sell a lot of too uh, I think I showed you everything oh wait I didn't show you and that's the door Paul put this plastic door here to try to keep it a little warm in here and this is my front um, the door going from inside of the house to the outside of the house alrighty so here what I have ribbon so I have more ribbon like I told you guys before um, yeah so that's a lot of ribbon and these are my reef ribbons here and this is um, all of my what you call this <laughs> my paints and then I have all of my rhinestones that I use to bling out shoes so black I try to keep the colors that I use most of and that's a rose um, gold and then my pearls that's glitter and my jelly beads here you bling shoes out with those as well more bling 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 all size blings and uh, you guys seen me make the Elmo sneakers did I use these on the Elmo sneakers I don't remember all right so that's what that is all right here is all of my my cousin Andrew got me like five of these maybe more so I keep them here on the front porch because at night they turn on all over the craft room and they look pretty they look like dragonflies these are um, flowers that I use for all my hair bowls so this is it here these are scrapbook flowers but I keep them here um, and this is my embroidery files <laughs> yeah my embroidery files are on here so that's what that is and then I have more flowers here this is my daughter's I got it for her uh, my daughter Tatiana last year for Christmas it ended up on my front porch she really needs to take it upstairs to her room so these are bows flowers everything that I use to make my hair bows that I match it with okay so all of that is my um and the thread to for my embroidery machine and that was one there and that is more ribbon and yeah more flowers and these peanuts i don't know how they got here because they're for paul's pigeons all right guys so this is pretty much it um it's nothing you know special or anything like that um i love the craft room I have so much you know space so much natural light because you know I can't see I wear glasses I still can't see when oh, I want to show you oh, what's this and I got it off of Amazon if I'll put the link in comments in case anybody's interested and it goes up and down and you see this is counter high table as well um, so I love it and it's so comfortable I love this chair 
Um, let me see what else. Yeah, so this is basically it. And I love it now because it's convenient because I'm right here. You know, everybody's here in the living room, the dining room, and everything just, you know, runs together. So everybody was just here a second ago. But everybody here. Yeah. So yeah, so this is it. Um, once I get the bins that Angela was so so nice to give me the info um, and I get everything more or less um, organized a little better in here I'll make another video but for now this is it this is my little um, craft room tour you guys it took no lie about uh, a month a little over a month to be exact to get this room done and finished with I was working on one corner over there I was miserable um, because it's just hard to function that way so I hope you enjoy this video. Um, you guys know that I'm in the middle of transitioning from handmade um, handmade business to selling boutique style clothing and um, online and also being the owner of an online boutique called La Duce Couture. I will be bringing you guys more video um, in regards to the transition from handmade boutique um, shopping, the in, is, the in and out. Um, anything that I fell in, I also will share that with you, whether it's good or bad, because I want you guys to learn through my experience. So if you're interested in any of those videos or any of my handmade videos or how to do videos, because now the craft room is done. So I'll be showing you guys how to make my tutus, t-shirts, aprons, and everything else. And also the boutique business. And I'm going to take you guys shopping with me, which I have a video that I have to edit from um, this past weekend which I put a picture up in my community board and showing you guys that I was in the city um, shopping for the boutique. So if you're interested in any of those videos, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notification um, so that you can get notified when I upload a video. And with that said, thank you so much for tuning in. It's Simply Nana with Crafting Cooking and Sasong to the next video. Bye.